Hi Violets, it's Eleanor coming to you with another very special story time from my house. Today I have a story for you about the upcoming holiday of Passover. So let's find the comfiest spot in your house and let's get to reading. This book is called Passover by Miriam Nerlove for Paula and her satyrs with love and special thanks to Abby and Karen. Passover! It's time for Passover! The story of Passover began long ago. In Egypt, there lived a cruel pharaoh. Pharaoh gave a royal command. Jews must be slaves across his land. He said to Moses, I'll never free your people from their slavery. One night, the Jewish people fled. They had no time to make real bread, but took the unbaked dough instead. Moses led them to the sea. The waters parted. Could it be? Then he led them far away to freedom, what we have today. On Passover, each year in spring, we remember all these things. First Grandma comes, then Uncle Lou, Aunt Maxine and Cousin Sue. This night we have our family Seder. We'll read and eat then read more later. I ask four questions and we look for answers in our Seder book. The Seder plate is filled with food to help explain our thankful mood. Matzah, flat and crunchy bread, recalls the night our people fled. We eat it when the blessings said. Sue and I get tastes of wine, but mostly grape juice as we dine. After dinner, the hunt begins. Who find the Afikoman wins. I look behind the swinging door. Sue finds it in a kitchen drawer. I open the front door in case Elijah comes to take his place. Then we sing Passover songs. I know some words and sing along. It's really late, but that's all right. Tonight's a very special night. That's the story of Passover, friends. You can press pause to read it with your families. The end. Violets, are you excited for the upcoming holiday? For me, I'm the most excited about singing songs. Will you share with your class how your Seder goes? Sending you lots of love and lots of blessings on this Passover.